everyone today's topic is basic elements of object oriented programming i i had already talked about object and classes now i am talking about data abstraction inheritance polymorphism and encapsulation shortly see data abstraction is act of representing essential features and without knowing background details means if i am talking about mobile then we are interested in features not about background details similarly in any other device we are interested in features not in background details if somebody is interested in background details it means that person is your competitor we have to show features why so that in market the device sales increase that's why we have to show features and we have to hide background details if somebody is your customer somebody want to buy camera then that person is not supposed to ask about background details that person is interested in features of camera see that's why the concept we have act of representing essential features that's why we have to show essential features without showing background details then our next topic is inheritance in inheritance the word comes from heredity concept heredity in bio means when our parent inherit qualities from grandparents and we are inheriting qualities from our parents that is heredity same way we have one concept that is inheritance in java also in oops concept also see for example if we had created a class named as animal animal have few qualities and if somebody inherit quality of animal that is carnivorous or herbivorous carnivorous inherit qualities of animal herbivorous also inherit quality of animal it means herbivorous have some qualities and have qualities of animal too carnivorous have some qualities and carnivorous have some qualities of their own see the same way tiger tiger inherit qualities of carnivorous same way tiger have its own quality too see it means we are inheriting one class into another one class into another the class which is going to be inherited inside another class that class is known as base class or we can say that class is known as super class the class which inherits somebody that class is known as derived class sub class or target class and here we are using a concept of reusability if we had already created one class we are not supposed to create it again and again we can inherit it easily into another class see the next next topic is polymorphism polymorphism is a single word with different meaning polymorphism is a concept where one word contain different different meanings means if i'm talking about duck duck is a water word if i am talking about cricketer if that cricketer scored zero run that cricketer also known as duck if in maths i'm talking about volume then we have any kind of volumes of cube either we have cuboid we have circle anything else the word with different different meaning is known as polymorphism if we had if we have created one functions with different meaning then we are overloading that function that's why a concept overloading is applied in java 2 function overloading one function had different different works that's why that function is overloaded see 
then we have another concept encapsulation encapsulation is wrapping of data and functions into a single unit means if i'm talking about tv tv and remote both the functions are together bind up so that tv works in in front of remote in that way we have to create a boundary so that our data and function link together or nobody interrupted no one the interfere in our area that's why we have one concept encapsulation system of wrapping data and function into single unit we have to bind it up so that nobody interfere in our area our data security should be there no one can change our data we are not supposed to provide these authorities to anyone i think you are able to understand why this concept why all these concept are present in oops so that data should be secured from our competitors i think you are able to understand why we have these concept thank you